Today marks the first anniversary as my role as president of Foothill College. It's been a busy, exciting, and fulfilling year, both personally and professionally, starting with the warm welcome I received when the President's Medal was passed to me from Bernadine Chuck Fong. All the welcome events, tours, and cake sincerely made me feel like I belonged. And I'd like to take a few minutes to share my highlights from the year, especially focused on the relationships I formed. During the rest of the spring quarter, I toured the campus with UCLA Chancellor and Foothill alum, Jean Block. I started my service club chats, attended RS, LS, and shared my experience witnessing the student-powered creativity and research at the award ceremony. Getting to know the people behind SLI, ETI, KCI, and the global experiential learning taught me that Foothill is a place that prioritizes experiential learning. It's our signature. At the end of the quarter, I attended the beautiful gala honoring Chancellor Judy Miner's 40 years of service, as well as 15 other celebrations honoring student achievement, culminating in an energetic and meaningful commencement in the quad. I also spoke at the Tide Academy graduation, where I grew to understand the deep commitment our K-12 partners have to the next generation of Silicon Valley pioneers. One of the most exciting moments was witnessing the unbridled joy expressed by students when I announced the winners of the Shark Tank Challenge in the PSEC Quad. That summer, I had the pleasure of hiring Vice President Stacy Gleichsner, of becoming a Rotarian in Los Altos, an organization whose commitment to Foothill is awe-inspiring, especially when it comes to our veterans. Also, we had the opportunity to host the Northern California bachelor's degree program workshop here at Foothill. Most significantly, I had the honor of welcoming Chancellor Lee Lambert into his new position. Before the fall quarter started, I attended a leadership retreat with campus leaders and eight new faculty members at Asilomar, which I found highly rewarding. The fall quarter kicked off on flex and opening day, where I had the pleasure of sharing my reflections and lifting up the magic of Foothill. Throughout the fall, I met with K-12 superintendents to explore new partnerships and learn about the desire of Palo Alto to form a middle college high school at Foothill, which I'm happy to report was formed in December and will start this fall. I also was selected as one of three community college leaders in the nation to attend the Reach For Leadership Conference in Chicago with inspiring keynote speeches from Michelle Obama, Aaron Brockovich, James Clear, and Indra Nuya. In November, I met with Charlene Nemja of the Mawekma Ohlone Tribe to explore an MOU and repatriate Foothill College's collection of ancestral artifacts from the Los Altos O'Keefe site. I was also inspired by the projects presented at the case competition with Google. It's really encouraging to see a new generation of innovators grow their confidence here at Foothill. December brought us the winter wonderland in the dining hall, and we also got to watch the fencing around the Azumaya come down for the campus and the community to enjoy. The new year gave us a reason to celebrate sustained enrollment growth, as well as the beautiful murals in our new BIPOC and Owl's Nest, adding vibrancy to the student-centered spaces. More recently, I had the pleasure of forwarding recommendations for tenure to Chancellor Lambert and enjoying the celebration of 21 newly tenured faculty members across the district. And let's not forget our incredible football season in which Foothill College was 11-0 undefeated state champs. This has been an amazing year and I look forward to many more, starting with the spring quarter, which starts April 8th.